Okay, so this is a video about higher paper A question, uh, sorry, paper A part one, question 11, where we're asked to, to sort out this mess here and find a value for it. And in this video, um, I'm going to do it using graphs. If you're more interested in doing it using CAST, I've made a video with CAST uh, separately. So find the one that you think is more relevant is going to help you more um, with your understanding. The very first thing if you're answering a question like this is you had a table of exact values. Now, I know some of you wrote this down in degrees, but here we're needing it in radians. Um, so the key angles are pi over 3, pi over 6, and pi over 4, otherwise known as 60 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. Um, and for sine, cos, and tan. Now, sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, cos of root uh, pi over 3 is a half, and tan of pi over 3 is root 3. So if you haven't got this table, this might be useful. Sine of pi over 6 is a half, cos of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2, and tan of um, pi over 6 is 1 over root 3. That is a 3. Apologies. And finally, sine of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2, cos of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2, tan of pi over 4 is 1. So in this particular example, we're thinking about pi over threes. We might have five pi over three, but we're thinking pi over threes. And we're thinking cos of it. So something is going to be related to half. And we're thinking about tans of pi over four related things. So we're looking at this value of one. Now, let's start by thinking about um, the cos part. And then we'll talk about the tan part in a minute. So what's going on here? Well, let's draw ourselves a graph to help us understand. Now, really, you can think of your cost graph split into four parts. And what's happening in all four of those parts? Well, this section here and this section here of the graph are identical. This section here is also identical and this section is identical. So the cost graph basically four repeating sections that are either positive or negative. So if I go along by pi over 3 degrees, this is pi, oh, sorry, radians, pi over 3 radians, what my table of values here tells me is that gives me a height of a half. And that happens again over here. Equally, down here, in the kind of mirrored part of the graph, there is a place where it equals minus a half. And down here, it would equal minus a half. So if I have 5 pi over 3, it's likely to be related to one of these other values. It's just which one that we need to work out. Now, let's figure out how pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 are related. Well, it's either going to be a little bit beyond or a little bit behind pi or a little bit behind 2 pi. So let's look. Well, 2 pi equals 6 pi over 3. So we can see that 5 pi over 3 it's the same as coming back by pi over 3 from 2 pi. So this one here is 5 pi over 3. So from our graph, we can see the value of pi over 3 is a half, and so will the value of 5 pi over 3. So that tells us cos of 5 pi over 3 equals a half on the graph, because we can see it's got the same value as pi over uh, cos of pi over 3, and it's exactly it's also above the axis again let's see what happens with the tan part well the tan part our graph looks like this and again this bit and this bit are identical and these are flipped over versions of it we're talking about finding 7 pi over 4 well again i'm going to look at 2 pi which is the same as 8 pi over 4. Ah, oh, that's nice. So 7 pi over 4 is just 1 pi over 4 before that. So it's going to lie about here. Um, just to mark on pi as well. And a single pi on 4 got us to here. Now hopefully we can see um, that following up this section of the graph here is the same as coming down this section of the graph here. So if this has a height of 1, then this point here has come down by the same amount, so it's a height of minus 1. And so that tells us that tan 
as 7 pi over 4 equals minus 1. It's related to this value, but we need to use our graph to decide if it's positive or negative. With those two values of a half and minus 1, we can plug them in. So this becomes a half minus minus 1. Half minus minus 1 is 3 over 2. So hopefully that's useful. If you prefer to do cast, um, you can go and find the other video where cast, I'd use cast to solve this. Um, but hopefully it gives you a bit of insight about what is going on in a little bit more detail to, to try a, a similar question. There is actually one other similar question in the papers you've been given. So you can flick through and find that if you want to get a bit more practice.